brought the dog? <laughs> Bad puppy. Oh, God. It's just busting through walls. Oh! Right? <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Popcorn Roulette. My name is Amelia. Uh, before we get started, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and click the bell icon to be notified anytime we upload to this channel. Today, we are gonna be watching Ghostbusters. I will be doing the whole Ghostbusters trilogy, so be sure to keep up with the channel and follow along with that. I also just watched The Princess Bride and I loved it. So if you wanna go watch that, feel free to uh, click and scroll back. And as always, if you want to do the full watch along, that will be over on Patreon. And without further ado, let's get into Ghostbusters. The New York Public Library. Been there a few times. Feel like something about those books is gonna be significant. Very eerie music. Oh, the floating books. Spooky. Oh my gosh. I want to know how they did that. Like as far as special effects. Yeah, run. That's terrifying. Oh, and the lights flicker. Strange. Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters. That's just a classic song. What? Ghost movies were huge in the 80s, I found out. And with good reason. They're interesting to watch. Bill Murray. Is it a star? It is a star. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How are these paranormal studies? Figure eight. Incredible. That's five for five. You can't see these, can no, you? No, no. <sighs> mm, but are they? I don't like this. You only have 75 more to go. Only 75. Just a couple of wavy lines. Sorry, this isn't your lucky day. Mm. <laughs> ah! What are you trying to prove here anyway? That's a good question. You can keep the five bucks I've had. I will, Miss. Five bucks? Mmm, not enough to do a test. You may as well get used to that. It's the kind of resentment that your ability is going to provoke in some people. Mm. You're no fluke, Jennifer. Mm, this feels kind of shady. I'm right in the middle of something, Ray. Mm -hmm. Ten people witnessed a free floating full torso vaporous apparition. I'm very excited. I'm very pleased. I can tell. Spengler went down there, he took PKE valences, went right off the top. Bill Murray does a great job of playing cynical characters. <laughs> oh. Hope we can clear this up quickly and quietly. Let's not rush things. We don't even know what you have yet. Don't know what the ghosts are gonna do either. It reached out for him. That poor woman is petrified. It's moving, come on. Hold that thought. I love that creepy, eerie, ghostly music. Did the ghost do that with the books? No human being would stack books like this. <laughs> Listen. The sarcasm. Ew. Backman, get a sample of this. Ghost movies always involve something oozing out of something or some kind of substance. I'm getting stronger readings here. I haven't figured out why, though. The moving objects, that I understand, but... This way. The substance says I'm not sure. Come on. Oh. At the very least, you should have put gloves on. I wouldn't have touched it with your hand if I were you. Egon, your mucus. <laughs> so far, the... Substance is really the only thing that's just like, what on earth is this? It's here. We're so apparition, and it's real. 
It's like the ghosts on Haunted Mansion. We've got to make contact. One of us should actually try to speak to it. Good idea. I could never figure out why ghosts do such odd things, though. Where are you from? Originally. <laughs> Shh. Yeah, it's a library. Ready? Get her! <laughs> That was your whole plan. Get her. It was like the exorcist right there. The Board of Regents has decided to terminate your grant. You are to vacate these premises immediately. Uh-oh. You are a poor scientist, Dr. Lee. While I can see where he's coming from, I feel like that's going to be proven wrong in the end. Einstein did his best stuff when he was working as a patent clerk. You know how much a patent clerk earns? No. <laughs> I believe that we were destined to get thrown out of this dump. For what purpose? To go into business for ourselves. As always, that's always the purpose. <laughs> Give me a swig of that. Containment system that Spengler and I have in mind is going to... Speaking from his point of view. You're not going to lose the house. Everybody has three mortgages nowadays. <laughs> for your information, the interest rate alone for the first five years comes to $95,000. Jeez. It just seems a little pricey for a unique fixer-upper opportunity, that's all. What are they going to fix it up to be? This building should be condemned. It looks like it. Does this pole still work? <gasps> oh. <laughs> Apparently so. This place is great. <laughs> when can we move in? You've got to try this pole. So eager. You definitely couldn't do that nowadays. Just cross the street. I'll take a rain check on that. I always have plenty of low-sodium mineral water and other nutritious foods in the house, but you already know that. Yeah, I know that. She sounds so jaded. Listen, that reminds me, you shouldn't leave your TV on so loud when you go out to creep down the hall phone the manager. Oh, that's strange. I didn't realize I left it on. Oh. Typically, you're supposed to leave it on to trick people into thinking someone's home. So, you know what I did? I turned up my TV real loud, too, so everyone would think that Bye. both our TVs had something wrong with them. <laughs> Oh, locked himself out. Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. Our courteous and efficient staff is on call 24 hours a day to serve all your super... Oh, she's intrigued. <laughs> or not. <laughs> Groceries and movies are always in a paper bag, and the carrots always have those long green stems coming out of them. Is that something anyone else realized? I don't think I've ever seen that in real life. Oh, the eggs are moving and cracking. Oh, are they like, are they cooking on the counter? Cause she just turned the stove on, didn't she? Or no, that was the tea kettle. Oh my gosh. Imagine finding a demonic portal in your fridge. Down and not see the sign. <laughs> Seems legit. <laughs> Looks like a combination between a vintage police car and a here's. Type something, will you? We're paying for this stuff. No stare at me. You got the bug eyes. Hmm. Rude. Me? Sorry about the bug eyes thing. I'll be in my office. Just climb out from under the desk. And then I slammed the refrigerator door and I left. That was two days ago and I, I haven't been back to my apartment. Wish I'd been staying. See that kind of behavior in a major appliance? No, you don't. Well, who would make up a story like that? Interesting how she found it after turning off the TV ad so abruptly. Wouldn't rule out clairvoyance or telepathic contact either. I'm sorry. I don't believe in any of those things. Doesn't mean they're not possible. Okay, but something's gonna happen here. I want it to happen to me first. <laughs> oh. This is the closet. No, really? I hate this. <laughs> kind of a strange device. 
What is that thing you're doing? <laughs> yeah, asking what I was thinking. It's one of our little toys. Little toys is a good term for that. That's the bedroom, but nothing ever happened in there. Doesn't mean nothing could. You know, you don't act like a scientist. They're usually pretty stiff. You're more like a game show host. Accurate. That's the kitchen, huh? I don't know. Take a look and see. <laughs> you see, I was over there, and these eggs just jumped right out of their shells and started to cook on the counter. That is weird. And that's when I... They were cooking. Would you like to check the refrigerator? At least wear gloves when you touch this stuff. Oh, my God. Look at all the junk food. <laughs> I had a feeling he wasn't going to see it. This Look, stuff. this wasn't here. There was nothing here. There was a space and there was a, a building or something. With My mom had that exact porcelain little dish, that exact one, exact floral print. And she had it for decades, too. She might still have it, actually. Well, are you sure you're using that thing correctly? I'm sure there are no animals in there. It didn't seem like you were so sure in the beginning. I don't think you're crazy. That makes me feel so much better. Two cynics, one apartment. No kiss. No. <laughs> to our first customer. That handwritten plaque above the building. That's just so funny. You know, you gotta start somewhere. We got one! Let's go, boys. It's like a fire station. Well, it was a fire station. <laughs> <laughs> that siren sounds like a dying cat. Hey, anybody see a ghost? Has it happened before? Well, most of the original staff knows about the 12th floor. Uh -huh. The disturbances, I mean. Yeah. It's typically the 13th floor. I hope we could take care of this quietly. I'm going to look up why because I forgot, but I know a lot of places don't have a 13th floor because it's bad luck. What are you supposed to be, some kind of a cosmonaut? <laughs> no, we're exterminators. Somebody saw a cockroach up on 12. Going up, I'll take the next one. I mean, one. the ghosts are being pests. <laughs> oh, that poor housekeeper. <sighs> what the hell are you doing? Honestly, look before you spray. Sorry, I'm sorry. We thought you were someone else. Someone else. Successful test. I guess so. Is she using the cleaning spray to put out the fire? <laughs> that thing looks like Chaba the Hut. Disgusting blob. It also kind of looks like the caterpillar from Bugs Life. <laughs> That's right, ghosts often disappear into walls. Walls are television screens. It's right here, Ray. It's looking at me. He's an ugly- Oh, don't be so excited, dude. It won't hurt you. Ah. Do you know that? <sighs> <sighs> That's so creepy. <gasps> oh my gosh. He slimed me. Great actual physical contact. I don't know why that line is so funny. You got slime. That's great, Ray. Save some for me. <laughs> okay, sir. If you and your staff could please wait out here, we'll take care of everything. Did they kick them out of the ballroom? They did. All right, boys. Ready? Throw it. Don't break the chandelier. <laughs> Or just completely decapitate it. It's okay, the table broke the fall. But n didn't save the chandelier. Don't cross the streams. Why? It would be bad. I'm fuzzy on the whole good bad thing. What do you mean bad? <laughs> Total protonic reversal. All right, that's bad. I'm not sciencey enough to know what they're talking about. Yep, thanks, Egon. All right, Ray. Or to know if that even makes any sense at all. Okay, Ray. Give me one hiding outside. Ray! <laughs> <laughs> That is one hungry ghost. Is he really harming anyone? You know, he's just snacking. Oh, oh, oh nice shooting, 
Chicks. Don't be so laser happy. My goodness. <laughs> What's it doing? I've always wanted to- It's like panting like a dog. And? The flowers are still standing. Working, Ray. Start bringing them down. Start bringing them down. You've got them. Don't cross the street. Doesn't seem like anything's really happening to him. And... I think they got him. It's in there. Hey. It's like a bug zapper, but for ghosts, apparently. We came, we saw, we kicked its ass. Did you see it? <laughs> what is it? Will there be any more of them? <coughs> Sir, what you had there <coughs> was what- That's also a fun line to yell once you get off an, a roller coaster or something. Real nasty one, too. Now, mm. Wasn't smoking like that before, though. Five thousand dollars? I had no idea to be so much. I won't pay it. Well, that's all right. We can just put it right back in there. Thank oh, you. We certainly <laughs> can, Doctor Bank. Now that's a bargaining deal right there. Anything. Thanks so much. But typically, you work out the prices before you do the job. Alleged ghost sightings and related supernatural occurrences have been reported across the entire tri-state area. Oh. Stories around the campfire. Heck, my grandma used to spin yarns about. Now she knows she's not crazy. Past the farm where she grew up, but now, as if some unforeseen authority. Something strange in your neighborhood. Who you gonna call? Ghostbusters. I feel like that's just been a classic song for so many decades. With Larry King. The phone topic today, ghosts and ghost busting. The controversy builds, more sightings are reported. Some maintain that these- Larry King was on the air for decades. <laughs> just running through a Rockefeller Center. I like that caricature drawing. That's well done. The Ghostbusters are at it again. This time at the fashionable dance club, The Rose. The boys in gray slugged it out with a pretty- The boys in gray. Stayed on to dance the night away with some of the lovely ladies who witnessed the disturbance. This is Casey Casey. Me listening to my serial killer podcasts. Ghostbusters! Oh, uh, Princess Diana. Rest in peace. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh. Is this happening or is he imagining this? Oh my gosh. Oh jeez. Well, I don't think that the man is competent to conduct a major symphony orchestra. What is he doing? <laughs> that was a wonderful rehearsal. You heard that? Yes, you're the best one in your row. Oh, thank you. You're not creeped out by the fact that he was kind of standing out listening? Well, the name Zul refers to a demigod worshipped around 6,000 BC by the... What's that word? Hittites. Hittites. Hmm. Zul was the minion of Gozer. What's Gozer? Hmm. Gozer was very big in Samaria. Well, what's he doing in my icebox? I'm working on that. If we could get together Thursday night, I'm thinking nine-ish. I'm making a special exception in your case because... I respect you. Hmm. And as a dresser, too. This is a magnificent coordination okay, you have going uh, here. <laughs> She's just like, okay, okay. I'll bring the Royal Lands Guide and we'll eat and read. Just charm your way into it. So who the hell is that? He's just a friend. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't get to meet you, sir, and I'm glad you're feeling much better. You're still very pale, though. A little sun. <sighs> the light is green. The crap is clean. Hmm. Incarcerated here in our custom-made storage facility. There's a man from the EPA here to see you. He's waiting in your office. Ghostbusters, what do you want? What do you want? I have PhDs in parapsychology and psychology. And now you catch ghosts. Mm-hmm. And may I see this storage facility? No. Hmm. <laughs> because you did not use the magic word. Uh-uh-uh. Uh-uh-uh. Jurassic Park reference. Please. <laughs> Why do you want to see the storage? Uh, 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 you forgot the magic word. You go get a court order, and I'll sue your ass for wrongful prosecution. <laughs> According to this morning's sample, it would be a Twinkie 
35 feet long, weighing approximately 600 pounds. <coughs> Fun fact, I've never had a Twinkie. Tell them about the Twinkie. Mm. What about the Twinkie? Some kind of demonic beast inside that statue. That music's pretty loud. Oh, nope. It's you. Hello, Lewis. He totally caught you. Well, I would, Lewis. Would definitely be listening for her. Oh, no. You made a date tonight? Well, I, I, I'm Oh, my heart kind of hurts for him now. Hey, Up. Let me in. It's Lewis. And now the music's gonna be too loud that they can't hear him, but he could hear her sneaking by. That's funny. Well, he's a, he's a ghostbuster. Imagine having to tell your mom that. Are you serious? Bye. Bye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My gosh. <laughs> Expense. That's why I invited clients instead of friends. You having a good time, Art? <laughs> well, listen, maybe if we start dancing, other people will join in. <laughs> so there oh. Oh. Anybody want to play for oh. oh my god, the demon's in his closet. Okay, who brought the dog? <laughs> Bad puppy. Oh, it's just busting through walls. Hold up! <laughs> right? <laughs> help! There's a bear loose in my apartment! Help! help! A bear? What? A bear in his apartment. <laughs> oh, it's just chasing after him. The butlers aren't even noticing him? Maybe I got a milk bowl. I was gonna say, just throw it in the opposite direction. Oh, they can't see it. Oh. Interesting. Hey, what happened? Some more on brought a cougar to a party. And brought a cougar. Are you the key master? Oh. Not that I know of. <laughs> then go away. Are you the key master? Yes. There we go. I didn't get your name. I'm Zool. I'm the gatekeeper. That's Zool. Ooh, creepy. Are we still going out? You <laughs> want this body? Is this a trick question? I think so. We never talk anymore. <laughs> I make it a rule never to get involved with possessed people. Good rule. Actually, it's more of a guideline than a rule. It should be. It should be a rule. Go ahead. No, I can't. Sounds like you got at least two people in there already. <sighs> at least two. <laughs> Up here. There is no Holy Zool. <laughs> oh, shivers. Now, I'm going to count to three, Zuli, and if I don't get to talk to Dana, Oh, it's like the exorcist again. E One. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, that's creepy. Oh. Oh, oh, nope, she's levitating. Oh, I'm like feeling this now. Guy. I am Vince. Vince Clortho, key master of Gozer. Are you the gatekeeper? Hey, he pulls the wagon. I make the deals. You want to ride? No, Wilbur. <laughs> Even 
even the horse is just like, what? You will perish in flames! You are not the flames! I gave up! My gosh. Asshole. <laughs> are you the gatekeeper? It's like Bell's father in Beauty and the Beast. During the rectification of the Voldrani, the Traveler came as a large and moving tour. There's something very strange about that man. I would agree with that. And I have a terrible feeling that something awful's gonna happen to you. I'm not psychic, but I feel the same thing. It seems the Goes has been putting some moves on my would-be girlfriend. Mm -hmm. I just whacked her up with about 300 cc's of Thorazine. She's gonna take a little nap now. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I just met the key master. He's here with me now. Huh. We have to get these two together. <laughs> I think that would be extraordinarily dangerous. I would agree. Bad news, honey. I gotta go to work. Hey, will you stay here in bed until I get back? <sighs> Do you remember something in the Bible about the last days when the dead would rise from the grave? Judgment day. Judgment. <sighs> Ray, has it ever occurred to you that maybe the reason we've been so busy lately is because the dead have been rising from the grave? Something like that. Step aside, miss, or I'll have you arrested for interfering with the police officer. Oh, no! <laughs> Hold on, I've seen TV. I know you can't come in here without a warrant or a writ or something. I tried to stop them. He says they have a warrant. Try to understand. This is a high-voltage laser containment system. Simply turning it off would be like dropping a bomb in the city. <sighs> he wants to shut down the protection grid, Peter. What happens when you shut it down? I'm warning you. Yeah. Don't be a jerk. Step aside. If he does that again, you can shoot him. You do your job, pencil neck. Don't tell me. Pencil neck. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, that was not a good idea. Not a good idea at all. Now it's giving, like, vintage superhero movie. Rather than a supervillain, it's ghosts. What happened? I mean, he did warn them. That's bad, isn't it? Pretty bad. Who's the key mask? Oh, come on. Dana, she was still in her apartment. But this man arrested. Captain, these men are a criminal violation of the Environmental Protection Act. And this explosion is the direct result of it. Your mother. <sighs> <sighs> oh. Oh. <gasps> oh. Oh, now they're coming up from storm drains and the subway. I'm in a hurry to Looks like a creepy version of the taxi driver from Halloween Town. <laughs> oh, there's the hungry guy again. Oh, what's she looking at? Were all those rays just going right to her? Nobody ever made them like this. Hmm. And just tell me what the hell is going on. I don't know what's going on, so just tell me. Your girlfriend lives in the corner penthouse, Spook Central. She's not my girlfriend. Well, she's your would-be girlfriend. She sleeps above her covers. Four feet above her covers. <laughs> not the girl, Peter. It's the building. <laughs> he had close to a thousand followers when he died. They conducted rituals up on the roof. Back when followers didn't mean social media. <sighs> I am the key master. I am the gatekeeper. Oh, what's gonna happen now? Oh! <laughs> His dream! That's one way to bring the two together, I guess. Everything was fine with our system until the power grid was shut off by Dickless here. They caused an explosion. Is this true? Yes, it's true. This man has no dick. <laughs> Not that. <sighs> All I know is that was no light show we saw this morning. No, definitely not a light show. Since I joined these men, I have seen shit that'll turn you white. White like a ghost? 
40 years of darkness, earthquakes, volcanoes, the dead rising from the grave, human sacrifice, dogs and cats living together, mass hysteria. Enough, I get the point. It's unfortunate that there are actually people on this earth who genuinely believe in all of that, like end times coming soon. Now, what do you need from me? <sighs> That's a really interesting visual right there. Yeah, those exact people were what I was talking about. Thank you. They love you. They love you here. I like that shirt, Brad. They've become celebrities. <laughs> The unsung heroes. Uh oh. Oh. Are they gonna be able to take it now? I have to put a little overtime in on this one. Or a lot of it. Oh no. The evil forces are becoming a little too strong now. Yep. Another thing you only see in movies, things sinking into the earth. Well, you only see cities doing that anyway. In movies, I mean. Did it just all of a sudden stop? Where'd the Ghostbusters go? What are they doing? Woo! Yay! I don't think anyone was. Get him, boys. Oh, a lot of stairs. That is a really interesting looking, like, image, though. Oh, that entire side of the building is just completely destroyed. Is that a drawing of the city? Hey, what? Because these look like they were sketched, and if they were, the artist did a great job. Okay, go ahead. Come on, go ahead. Because I imagine there wouldn't be very many computer generated images in this time. And if there were, it was super expensive. And I'm sure Ghostbusters had a high budget, but still. Oh. Dana! Yeah! Oh. Yup. They're back. Okay. So, she's a dog. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the joke that just crossed my mind. Wow. Girl. <laughs> Not just any girl, either. Go get her, Ray! <laughs> you go first, Ray. She looks like the type who would be like, you must solve my riddle. I order you to cease any and all supernatural activity and return forthwith to your place of origin or to the nearest convenient <sighs> parallel dimension. That ought to do it. Thanks very much, Ray. You're <laughs> right. Are you a god? Ooh. Demonic voice. No. Then. Yeah. This chick is toast. Mm hmm. Oh. Big of heart. Oh. Ready? Let's show this prehistoric bitch how we do things downtown. Was this nominated for anything? Because it was really well done. For its time, especially. Nimble little mink, isn't she? We better go full street. Ah, my kind of supervillain. You fools cannot destroy me. One so hard? Mm, wouldn't be so sure. It's Miller time. Is it really? This looks extraordinarily bad. Oh no. What? Uh oh. 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 Choose and perish. Oh. Oh, I get it. I get it. Oh. 
Was there ever a Ghostbusters video game? Because I'm not a huge gamer, but I feel like a Ghostbusters game would be really fun to play. Just don't think of anything. We've only got one shot at this. The choice is made. Whoa, oh, oh, whoa. The traveler has come. Nobody choose anything. <sighs> I didn't choose anything. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, start backing away, like, why is everybody looking at me? Couldn't help it. It just popped in there. What? I, I, I tried to think. Look! I tried to think. You can't be. What did you do, Ray? Oh, shit. <gasps> oh, now that is scary. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It's the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. Oh my- <laughs> Somehow the fact that it's so cartoonish makes it that much creepier. <laughs> the Forbidden Macy's Parade Float. Oh my god, its eyes are moving. Well, there's something you don't see every day. I tried to think of the most harmless thing <laughs> I loved from my childhood <gasps> that could never, ever possibly destroy us. Mr. Stay Puffed. Uh, nice thinking, Ray. We used to roast Stay Puffed marshmallows. There's your idea right there. If you used to roast marshmallows. Oh, no. Mother pus bucket. <laughs> Oh. Nobody steps on a church in my town. <laughs> Two, three, roast Boom, roasted. Oh, the face. That's terrifying. <laughs> now would be a good time for Burn Baby Burn to start playing. <sighs> We've been going about this all wrong. This Mr. Stay Puffed is okay. He's a sailor. He's in New York. We get this guy laid, we won't have any trouble. <laughs> I have a radical idea. The door swings. Even though he's burning, he's still completely powerful. We'll cross the streams. Excuse me, Egon. You said crossing the streams was bad. Cross the streams. You're going to endanger our client, nice lady, who paid us in advance before she became a dog. <laughs> There's definitely a very slim chance we'll survive. That's reassuring. Let's do it! The job is definitely not worth 11 five a year. I would say, even for that time, it definitely wouldn't be. See you on the other side, Ray. Nice working with you, Dr. Frankman. Dr. Frankman's like, yeah, whatever. Is that all melted marshmallow? Uh, are you okay? I feel like the floor of the taxi cab. Oh, that's gross. That's a good way to describe it, but it's a great way to describe that if you feel gross. Oh, ugh. You okay? Fine. You're barely covered in any marshmallow. It smells like barbecued dog hair. Oh, Bankman, I just forgot. Oh. Oh. No. Wait a minute. What am I doing inside a statue? There she is. Somebody turn on the lights! <laughs> what happened? It's a long story. Oh. <sighs> Are you okay? Who are you guys? We're the Ghostbusters. <laughs> Who does your taxes? You know, Miss. Good question. You have been a participant in the biggest interdimensional cross rip since the Tunguska blast of 1909. Felt great. We'd like to get a sample of your brain tissue. Okay. <laughs> He's just willing to agree to anything now. I love this town! <laughs> 
Does she change her clothes, but they're still covered in marshmallow? Cause she was wearing that orange, like sheer thing before. Oh, credits. Bill Murray, of course. Are you gonna call? <laughs> I feel like I've seen Mick Rick Moranis in something. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. <sighs> yeah. Honestly, like, you should believe everything this dude has to say now. Ernie Hudson is very much like a combo. It, you could totally disagree with me, but in my mind, he's like a combo of Tim Curry and Eddie Murphy. I'm oh, production design. John Dick. Okay. Not familiar with that name, but very well done. <sighs> Ghostbusters! And off they go! Ah, <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> the Ghostbusters saved the city! Makes me feel good. Such a good song! That would be really cool to see in 3D. <sighs> that was awesome. <laughs> Alrighty guys, that is a wrap on Ghostbusters, the first Ghostbusters movie. I will be watching two and three as well and I cannot wait. Really, I'm really tuned in now, really enjoying this. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Go ahead and start a discussion down in the comments below. And um, let me know if there's anything I should look out for in Ghostbusters 2 and 3, any cool pieces of trivia, anything in particular that you love about the Ghostbusters trilogy. And with that, I will catch you guys next time. Bye.